All right, I'm excited today because we got uh, we got a special guest on the channel. Not so uh, not so special, but a guest nonetheless. That's right, Sister Beard. Yay! <laughs> it's been a while, but it has uh, been a while. yeah, uh, put your mask on because not only does it prevent the spread of disease, it also has the the quite handy bonus feature of covering up that rather unruly moustache of yours. <laughs> so uh, let's get inside. <laughs> So uh, today we're, we're back at the Ilkley Cow. If you've been um, subscribed for, I don't know, about maybe a year or so, you might remember I was here, uh, they used to do a, I think it was a 70 ounce, uh, like a solo steak challenge, which I, I dusted, it was delicious. Uh, but today we're back for their new, kind of like a tag team steak challenge, which is uh, 128 ounces. And I think this is the first time <laughs> that we've, uh, this is definitely the first time we've done a, an actual team challenge together. So if you fail today, there's no excuse, well, I mean, the only way you should fail today is if I have a, a really bad day, which, which is possible. That, that is possible. <laughs> if you notice any shards of glass or, you know, wet things on the table, it's because Jenna's already drunk on Shandy and uh, she smashed a bunch of glasses everywhere. Anyway, today we're at the, uh, the Ilkley Cow. We're back at the Ilkley Cow and we're taking on their new uh, 128 ounce steak board challenge. Look at all this. It looks yummy. Let's, let's tilt this just towards the camera a little bit. Kind of see it there. Um, I do have a list of the constituent parts of, of this oh. challenge. Right. Do you now? It was this. Double click to pay. <laughs> oh, you've been doing some online shopping. <laughs> right, so uh, in this thing we've got a uh, 30 ounce Chateau Briand, which is your favorite. 45 ounce spiral cut ribeye, 45 ounce sirloin, eight ounce rump steak, the world's biggest onion rings, some chips, a bunch of sauces, and some uh, just other adornments, you know, mm. vegetables and stuff. An hour to, uh, to finish, Otherwise, it's 150 quid. Wow, I didn't know it was timed. Yeah, so I hope you throw your wallet. With it. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, this is Baby's Food and Sister Beard. And uh, this is the 128 ounce steak challenge. Let's get it! That was terrible. We <laughs> <laughs> should give it a shot. That was kind of. That, that'll have to do. Right. That in itself is like a I mean, like full roast beef, innit? I think peppercorn is in there somewhere. Mm. It's true. What's up, bit army? Welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. Just to clarify, though, ordinarily I would not dip my meat into the jar, but we're not eating from plates today, so. You know, if Mrs. Beard was here, I would have made an innuendo about <laughs> dipping meat in a jar. But <laughs> since you're my sister, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that might have been awkward. Right, can okay. you not spill this one, please? Yeah, it's because it was down by my foot. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Yeah, so to give you some context on what we're talking about there, before we started, Jen smashed an entire glass of beer. I've seen there was actually a, a 30 ounce steak challenge somewhere. If you finish the shot over here, I'll, I'll be, I'll be impressed. That's an achievement in itself. Fair. Yeah, she, she's kind of a booze hound. My daddy, he liked to drink a little bit, <laughs> a little bit too much. But um, I mean, I, I like a beer, but she inherited that gene much more strongly than I did. Anyway, today we're at the Ilkley Cow taking on their brand spanking new tag team 128 ounce steak with a bunch of other stuff challenge. <laughs> <laughs> You're a catastrophe, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Sorry, just joking. It's just a food challenge. You take it so seriously, bro. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> this guy knows, he knows. Yeah, we got something to aim for now. A little bit of cheesecake, hopefully on the house, <laughs> once we're done. Well, like eight minutes down, mm -hmm. the, the 45 ounce, uh, whatever it was, ribeye, that's, that's done for, that, that's down. I think this is the, the rump. <laughs> what is that one? That's a sirloin. Is, is that a sirloin? <laughs> I mean, I, I say once we're done, this becomes a, a much more of a gargantuan battle than I imagined. I'm not dipping. I'll use the sauce when we get to the end because I get the feeling that you're, you're about to bail, probably. <laughs> you don't have any faith in my abilities. That's true. 
the potential for the lockdown on this one is like severe jarring. Eating any kind of meat in um, <laughs> in large quantities oh my God. is um, obviously it's hard on the jaw. Can you hear my jaw click when I eat? <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah, that didn't do much for my appetite. I'm glad it's a, a team thing. This would this would take me a long time. Can you be able to do it by yourself? I think, I mean, I'm not certain I would be able to, but I think the only, the, the meat for sure, but the, the side. yeah, there's like, what is that, two pounds of fries there and then <laughs> these onion rings. So. Oh, those onion rings, my mouth is watering just thinking about them. I say this all the time that the, the bar keeps being raised when it comes to onion rings, but these are, these are up there. They're in my top three onion rings ever. Oh, the sizzling plates are here. The sizzling plates are back. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Yeah. How do we operate these safely? <laughs> so because, um, well, I, I took a little while, you know, making this whole thing look snazzy. Mm. But then Jen took a, a much longer while <laughs> by smashing up all the <laughs> all the glasses and stuff before we started. So, of course, the meat started to get a little bit cold. So they brought us a, a nice sizzling plate thing here to, to warm things up. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Yeah, it was nice of them, especially after Jen had destroyed their floor to bring out these hot plates for us. Yeah, we got that green bit. <laughs> it's gotten a little bit bright now. There was a big truck park there mm. before and so I, you know, I, I set the camera accordingly and now it's just kind of... My face looks like it's glowing. I look like a Moomin. <laughs> oh man, Moomins, what a show! And yeah, I, I still need a tan. People say I'm a slow eater, but I mean, you're. That is a 30 pound Chateaubriand. 30 pound? You said 30 pound. 30 ounces. Or 30 ounces. Oh, look at that. Look at it. Psychologically, you must be feeling a lot better now because. Yeah, I It really almost looks like you've eaten something. <laughs> Yeah, I think moving the, the 40 ounce sirloin out of the way kind of helped her out a little bit mentally. I don't actually know how much I've eaten. Mean. <laughs> <laughs> you meant, like, you mind just It's like it. 60 ounces or something like that. I'm going to need the sauce for this. <laughs> <laughs> Any type of gravy is like, uh, it's kind of like a special serum for people from Yorkshire. It gives you, a, <laughs> gives you superpowers. I'm looking forward to these onion rings, I'll tell you that. And the cheesecake afterwards. <laughs> I'm hoping we're gonna get there. I don't know, it's up in the air, but cheesecake is the goal. I've got to say though, like, big props to Jen for uh, for doing so well on this because a 30 ounce Chateaubriand is not, that is not easy for someone to eat, especially when they're not really a big eater. <sighs> you feeling okay? Now you've put that up, it looked like a whole new meal again. Like, <laughs> what I brought it straight back out. For the record, Jen was not feeling okay. <laughs> As you will, you'll clearly see <laughs> in, a, in a few minutes, she starts to feel, uh, let's call it worse for wear. But uh, yeah, it, it, uh, there's a lot of food here. You couldn't really tell at the beginning, but it's a lot. You pass me an onion ring? <laughs> what, you gonna, what, you gonna leave all the meat? Well, I thought I might, you know, help you out in some respect. I was, I, you know, a big part of me was was really open that she, she would just do the meat and maybe a few fries because I, I really wanted those onion rings, um, but it, she wanted one. I think she eats like one or two maybe. Um, we'll just re- <laughs> <laughs> What is that sound? I don't even know. Like an internal there. I'm like, I was going to be sick then. <laughs> You've contributed well, Hal. If, if, you, if you're full, don't puke. Just stop. I want to let you down. This is when it hits the back of my throat. I'm like... <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thanks, mate. Cheers. To be fair, you did like a good, what, 25 ounces of the 30 ounce. Uh, at least 28. <laughs> 20 ounces. 28 20. ounces. Yeah. <laughs> right, whatever's cold over <laughs> He was up. <laughs> mm. I know you took like three pieces, maybe. Right. 
I would say you did, um, that's a vast improvement on any previous performance, I would say. I think like 30 hours of football. <laughs> Just pick up with your hands, man. Oh my god. You're such a diva. <laughs> Uh, That's magic. <laughs> I love that you've left all the fatty bits as well. <laughs> Thanks so much for that. Mm. I just don't know how you like push through that wall when you when you get it. You know what I mean? <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm getting there now. I'm getting there. <laughs> I don't normally show any weakness when there are chefs around, but he caught me there. I think it's quite convenient. <laughs> On the list of ingredients, it says sides. Without really specifying just how many sides you get. Yeah, that's a little pro tip for you there. Always be suspicious if it just says sides or, you know, chips or fries or something like that. Without a measurement, because you never know how much is going to be there. <laughs> no, it's really awful. <laughs> just as soon as you like, you've cleared the platter and you think like you're nearly there. <laughs> like you add the other food and it's like the entire platter again. <laughs> I was trying to communicate some emergency with your hand then because I could just see you out of the corner of my eye like. <laughs> no, but this is the first time ever. My jaw just went into cramp. That was so weird. <laughs> I think this is the point I start to develop some kind of mild lockjaw. Give that man a tetanus shot. You don't know where he's been. <laughs> right. I think this is going to go down to the wire, so be prepared to chipmunk. I think there is a chipmunking rule in, <laughs> in effect, meaning that if it's in, it counts. Put it in. Mm -hmm. And chew it. I will be sick then. I will actually be sick. Do you want me to be sick? A little part of me does, but. <laughs> yeah, this is the part that I realised Jen's just trying so hard, she's getting close to having an accident. And chips. Mm. Not that it's a walk in the park for me, but I didn't want her to throw up and get us disqualified. <laughs> Food in my mouth, and we're 15 minutes in. 50 minutes in. <laughs> I'm delirious. I think I know why this is happening. <laughs> I think the reason this is is because so there was no um, contest season, right? Because of coronavirus. Yeah. And most um, people that do contests, they chew gum, you know, during contest season because it strengthens your jaw. So the only thing I could think of is because I've stopped doing that. I'm, gonna try, I'm trying to leave you with just enough <laughs> that you can stuff it all in when we get down to the last minute. Why do you want me to have to do Oh that? my god, it's like, no, we're gonna, we're gonna fail my hurry up. Hurry up, but don't throw up. Nine minutes. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's making me laugh that you're like, you're trying actually quite hard now, so you <laughs> so I, can hear, I can hear you panting <laughs> in my ear, you're like You took my diet coke as well. <laughs> I feel like I can get I, it. I've done this all dry, man. Oh, come on. Six minutes. Yeah, I think I, I can forgive uh, Jen for nicking my my coke here because, <laughs> as you can see, she's uh she's been struggling for a while now. It's, it's going right down to the bone. You've drank how much as must it? You've drank how much as. <laughs> <laughs> you've drank almost as much as you've eaten. It's the only way I can swallow without gipping now. <laughs> I've eaten like 30 pounds. Stay. Ah. 
<laughs> I'm just like, I can't chew anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, my early death. I love it. Jen's fully getting on board with the teamwork aspect of this. If this had been Mrs. Beard, she'd have just quit by now. I mean, she wouldn't have even been eating the steak in the first place, but you get the idea. Anyway, I'll let you enjoy the final climactic three minutes in peace. And I'll catch you next time. We'll get into a point where Mr. Beard just swallowed it. Two minutes. Oh. I can't take one cut, I'll be sick. I'll go more. I'll have one. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I think it's something that's Have you got enough space for cheesecake? Oh yeah. I can take some white chocolate and then. I am actually in so much pain. Oh look at that! Right in the nick of time. <laughs> My jaw stopped working like 30 minutes in. I was like. Hey. I'm a, you know what? The weird thing is, I don't, I don't feel anywhere near full, but my jaw. Oh man, I need to start chewing that gum again. After something's gone wrong. Anyway, I'm gonna just enjoy my cheesecake if you don't mind. Yeah, no, enjoy it. I'm just gonna sit here and just bite off. <laughs> <laughs> Nausea. What is it with you and beer, man? It's like... You cannot eat a steak and chips without a beer. It's ludicrous. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs>